Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to do another uh, scraps to something video. I've got my big box of scraps here. I'm just going to move them off to the side because there's not enough room on my desk for them. Okay, and then I've got my paper cutter here and I've got some craft cards. I'm going to cut some strips. I'm just going to decide how long, how wide I want them. I think we're going to have them... Um, should we go two inches or two? no I'm going to go two and a half inches so let's just cut some strips first that's one, two so we've got three there I'm just going to grab another piece and do another three so again, I'm just going to do two and a half inches. And again, just making sure my flipping camera's working. I did a video the other day and I hadn't realised it had turned itself off halfway through the battery had gone, so I'm paranoid. Okay, so I've got six strips of two and a half inch wide. I'm just going to cut them down. Uh, I'm not even sure what they measure. Let's, it's 11 and a, yeah, just 11 and three quarters. So I'm going to cut them down to, let me just see if I can, I can't do anything with this big box on the side. Let's just put my, I'm going to cut them down to, um, should I cut them down? I'm actually not. I'm going to leave them like that. Yeah, I'm going to leave them like that. Okay, so I've got my strips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold them. Actually, no, I'm not. Sorry, I'm so indecisive, aren't I? I was going to fold them in half, but I'm not. I'm going to put the papers on first and then fold them in half. So I'm just going to get this flat piece of paper just to glue on. So, right, we want some backing papers. So I've got a couple of scrappy bits here these are just kits that I've worked on and not used all the papers so what's that one let's have a look what we've got in here this is shabby dictionary by antique papery I think it's been discontinued this kit now I bought it when she was selling things off um should we use some of them and then I've got this one from G Kerr happiness and crafting I love these papers I don't know whether to go with some of them as well Let's have a look what we've got. Um, I'm thinking of that one might be all right. Um, I don't really want plain. That one would be okay. That one we can get bits off. So that's that one. Let's have a look in the shabby dictionary. How have we got there? One, two, three. So we want four, five, six. We'll just go with those. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my papers down. I need my trimmer again. I forgot about that. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so I'm going to cut some strips of paper to fit along here. I don't know whether to cut them or to just... No, I'm just going to glue them and then cut them. I think that'll be the easier option so I'm going to just put some glue on my strips in fact I'm going to get my new glue out because I can't be bothered messing with that one let's just cut off the whites on here before we start and then I don't get the whites uh, on my strips enjoying doing this series actually I've got loads of ideas I've had my notebook out and every time an idea comes to mind I just keep writing it down and, you know to make to use my scraps I'll be here forever in a day but that's fine we'll just keep plodding on right so I'm going to stick that piece on here we could actually use two of these I'm going to have to cut it down because it's not quite long enough but that's fine let's just put some glue on here Okay, 
stick that piece down there. We could actually use, instead of using other paper, should we use the other side? Yeah, we'll do two on this one. We might as well make use of the scraps. Okay, let's stick that down. Right, I'm going to cut around these two, but I'll leave it for a minute just to let the glue dry a little bit. Let's grab another paper and do the same again. Let's just cut these off. pieces right I know it's going to be sort of that way but that's fine um, let's just stick let's stick these down okay so I'm going to stick that one down there I'm going to do two on here as well I might as well might now use the page instead of because then I'm going to be left with even more scraps aren't I so Let's make use of it and let's do this one as well. I've got tons and tons of cardstock that I need to use. You know, from when I was card making all different colours, I've got enough cardstock to make for forever in a day. So, where's that one? Um, which other one shall we have? We don't have this one. Yeah, lots of cardstock that I can use. So I used to use it obviously a lot when I was card making, but I don't really use it now. It's sort of only browny colours and greens that I tend to use at the moment. Yeah, I need to get some of that used as well. Right, which way shall we go? Let's just missing one there put some glue on here okay I'm just going to stick it down I'm not fussed where it is really okay and then the last one Have we zoomed in enough there hope so go back to the first one and cut that out and then that one can just dry off for a minute so I'm just going to cut my papers okay, I'm just going to trim along the bottom as well uh, where the paper stops so there's one I'm not saving those little bits of scraps <laughs> no right let's just cut along here there's two so quiet the girls are in the lessons you know uh, doing the remote learning the house seems so quiet right okay let's get rid of those we don't want those bits and then these two yeah I can hear a pin drop at the moment must be deep in concentration Right, 
I'm on. I think this is my third video I've done today. I'm trying to get ahead of myself if I can while we've got some light in the room. So this is my third one. So I'm going to, after this one, I'm going to start doing some editing and then I'm going to work a little bit on my mum's journal this afternoon. Right, okay, so there we have got our six strips of card. All I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them in half. I'm just going to use my uh, fold fold, I can't think what it was called then. I'm just going to press it down. I could have scored them really, which might have been better, but no, I'll just fold them down like that. And then all of them. Quite thick that um, craft card. I didn't realise it was as thick as it is. And you could do these smaller, bigger, however, whatever size you wanted to do them. Oh, I've not cut that bit off the bottom there. Cut that off. Okay. Thinner or wider, however you want to do them. I'll show you what I'm going to, my idea for these is. I've not cut the bottom off there now and I've already folded it. I'll have to do that again. Very thick card, I should have looked at that really. I don't know if it's going to be too thick. Let's put it into a journal. Right, okay, so I've folded all my bits inside. Uh, inside. I've folded all my strips in half. Right, I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut up the middle. And then I'm going to cut into the sides. That side. Just cut that little side out and then cut up this way and I've just made like that pierced edge, you know like a banner and what I thought was I thought these could just just say that's your journal page I thought they could just clip over the top of a page just with a paper clip so that was my idea of using of, um, of these I thought they'd be quite nice just to put over a page so let's carry on and just cut up the middle. I'm just going to straighten that off. It's not straight. I think I might be better to use my little scissors to do this. Yeah, so just cut up the middle. I'm just guessing. And then cut up the side, one side, so you've got your point. And then cut up the other side, just like that. And then you get that banner at the bottom. And the same. Way are we that way? I don't think I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to embellish the back. I might just stick a flower or something on there, but these papers are really nice, so I don't need to stick an awful lot on. No, last one, okay. Okay, so there's all my banners made. Let's just get rid of these bits and pieces. Where's my bin? I wish I could find my bin. It's here, underneath my chair. Right, okay, so there we go. We've made those little banners and all I'm going to do now is a little bit of embellishing. Um, I'm not going to put too much on. I think I'm going to just stick a... I don't even know if I'm going to put anything on there, to be honest. I might put a bit of lace down the sides and maybe a word because those papers are just lovely but before I do that I'm going to use my vintage photo uh, no I'm going to use my walnut stain if I can put my hands on it yeah I'm going to use my walnut stain and I'm going to ink all the way around because it just shows up a little bit better the craft card and go into the V yeah I'm not going to put a lot on these because the papers are really nice. Just a nice quick and easy way to use your scraps. 
really thick they are yeah the papers are nice aren't they so I don't need to put too much on them so this will be more ephemera to go in the collection to gift out at some point and you could even journal on the inside of there couldn't you because it's only plain let's just trim that a little bit I've got a little bit overhanging there that's it yeah you could make some smaller ones of these couldn't you as well or a big one you know like one like a jumbo one to go over a page and decorate it all okay and the last one yeah I'm not going to put a lot on there at all I'm just going to that is not straight so let's just cut that bit that's better it was all wonky Right, okay, so there we go. Right, shall we put a little piece of lace down the side? I'm going to have to decide which I want for the front and which I want for the back. So I'm going to have those at the front. Hello? Come in. Sorry guys, one of the girls are just knocking on the door. Do you want me? Oh, they've changed their minds. Never mind. I thought they might have wanted to come in to use the printer, but they're not answering me. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm going to decide on which I want for the front. So I think I'm just going to put a little bit of lace down. I'm just going to grab my scrap, my little thing of scrap laces. I'm going to use some of these and just put a little piece of lace down the side. I'm going to go down that side. I'm just going to grab some little paper clips um, I'm just going to put a paper clip on each just to keep them together while it's dyed just put some embellishments on just a bit easier to work with and then that one right okay that's a bit better it's just a bit easier for me to, to put the lace on put those back okay let's have a look we've got some scraps of lace and we've got that piece that would go nice on there because it's like a pinky colour and we'll have that on there um, and what colour have we got for this one? This is just all my little short scrappy bits of lace that I'd like to use. Um, I think that might be too big. Yeah, that's too thick. That's that one. Um, I'm sure I've got smaller scraps as well. What's this one? Right, we'll have a piece of this just down the side there. So that'll do for that one. I'm going to put this pink one on here as well. Like it's got the pink flowers. Put a little piece of that down. So that's three. Right. What else have we got? I like this one. I think it's going to be too big. Yeah, it's far too wide, isn't it? Um, let me just have a look up here if I've got any... I've got other small pieces of... What colour do I want? Um, you know, they're all big pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay. Um don't want white on there no I'm going to get some crochet lace then um, 
let's have a look what we've got in here I think there's bits and pieces of lace in this one that's seam binding and there you are we've got some scrappy bits of lace there I think this colour will go better on these browner ones just going to stick a little piece on each should we do it that way yeah we'll do it that way or shall we use oh god I'm so indecisive stick that piece on there and that little piece right I'm just going to go with them so let's just get my three in one glue and stick these down I can trim off from behind in a minute can't I okay one um, I think I need a bigger piece on this one don't I Got a small piece, what's that one? Let's just trim a bit off there. Or shall we just put the whole thing on? Um, oh, let's just make it a bit shorter. Okay, I'm just going to put it down here. Yeah, I'll trim off the edges in a minute. I'm just going to put a little piece of this one down here. And this one. Okay, right, I'm just going to give that lace a little minute to dry. Put them there like that. And I'll cut off the excess in a minute. I'm just going to grab, let me just get um, something to wipe the end of my glue with. Here's a piece of scrap paper. Okay, right, I want to have a look at my flowers um, which one shall we look at um, I can't find oh they're here I couldn't find my flowers then <laughs> staring at me right we've got some bright ones here let's have a look what we've got in here uh, and we've got some well we've got tons these are brighter coloured flowers that I've put in here. Let's see if we can fit a little one on there maybe. Let's just put them in. These are not actually flowers so they shouldn't really be in there. They're more ephemeral. I'll have to sort through that actually. They should not be in there. My um, organising has failed there. They shouldn't be in there in the wrong box. Um, only want some little flowers they're quite big let's have a look at the bottom no they're too big I don't want those let's have a look at these little ones here see if there's any smaller ones or are these a blue one can we see there sorry no they're very big no they're too big as well okay right plan B let's go to the other flowers put them back in in fact I don't need to put them back in there uh, other flowers let's have a look in this one let's see what we've got in here they're smaller flowers right I don't need that we'll just have a look at these yeah they're smaller so perhaps these would be okay there I want something with a bit of colour 
pull it on that one. What do we think? Um, a bit of yellow, there's a bit of yellow in there, isn't there? Yeah, a bit of yellow on that flower. That's that one. What do we think of those guys? I wish I could hear you. I really do. And then, no, I don't want that one. It's the same. What about that one? Oh, decisions. Let's have a look if there's another one. Eye. Just looking for a small one. What about that with a little bit of blue? Right, I think I'm going to go with them. Otherwise, we'll be here all day while I'm mooching through all these flowers. I'm going to go with them. I'm going to ink them up because I think they'll look better once I've inked them. I'll just pop that back on the shelf and put these back. I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to sort that because there's ephemera in there that shouldn't be in with flowers. Okay, that's my little bag. I can use that again. Right, let me just grab my ink. Um, I'm going to stick with the walnut stay. I'm just going to grunge these flowers up a little bit because they are a bit bright. So there we go, there's that one. You know, and if you haven't, if you haven't got die cut flowers, cut flowers for images from books or stickers. You know, just use what you've got in your stash. As you can see, I've got tons of die cut flowers because I do have an addiction, I will admit it, to buying die cut flowers and ephemera. It's just one of my favourite things to buy. So, but it's nice for me to get them out and actually use them. Uh, which one shall we have there? I've got too many out here. Shall we have that one? Put them two back in a minute. Yeah, so just use what you've got in your stash. I know it's hard at the moment because charity shops in the UK are not open, you know, to go around and have a look for um, books and that. But when they are, I, I buy all my books, well, a lot of my books from charity shops. I do buy some online as well, but um, and then I just sit and fussy cut the images from the books. That's what I do. Right, okay, so I'm going to use them. I'm going to use a, I've got new glasses and the pinching behind my ear. I've had to just take them off for a second. They're really digging in. I only picked them up the other day, but they're digging in behind my, my ear, whether it's because they're just new. So I'm going to use my phone pads just to give a little bit of dimension on the front there. So there's one. And two. I'm going to leave the backs. I'm not going to embellish the back of them because otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to, because they're nice on the back anyway. There's the pattern paper on there, so I'm just going to leave the back. Let's stick that one down and this one. I'm going to leave those little paper clips on, just keep them together. I'll tell you what else I've got that I'm going to stick on these that I think could be nice. If you watch my haul video, you'd have seen that I picked up some little, uh, where are they, little gems. I don't, oh, they're here on my desk. There we are. These are called Simply Sepia. They're just little adhesive gems, and I think one of these would be nice just on the flowers. So let's just grab my pokey tool. Uh, which ones? We'll go with that size there. So I'm just going to pick one up and I'm just going to put them on the flower. Just one on each flower. It'll just finish them off. Put that one in the middle of that flower. And where should we put that one? Put it in the middle. Oops. And this one, we'll put that in the middle as well. And then this one, we'll put at the bottom there. Okay, and I think to finish it off, 
I'm going to see if I've got some little words that would be small enough to fit on the front of there. Put them over there. Right, let's just grab my words out. Um, which ones do I want? I only want small ones, so... What's these? They'll be too big. I'll get this. Is it small? Chit chat. Right, do we want black or white? We're going to go with black. So let's just have a look what we've got to stick on. Um, oh, here we go. Amazing. Right, so we'll have amazing down there. We'll have imagination down there. Um, embrace. We'll put that there. Delight. Stick that there. So yeah, I've not done too bad there from scraps, have we? Um, like I use the, the flowers obviously, but I've got so many of them that they all need to be used as well as so my stash busting is like everything that, that I'd like to use that I've been hoarding for ages and ages. But on um, the bases and everything just scraps. So yeah, you could easily put those together using your scraps. I've lost my train of thought. Now what am I looking for? I'm looking for another word. And smile. That'll do. And one more. Uh, which one shall we have? Understanding. That'll do. That's a, no, it's too big. It won't fit on there. Let's just get a different one. Um, oh, cherish. That'll do. Okay. So there we go then, guys. There's my scraps to something video for today. Let's just move that and I'll zoom in. So yeah, I'm going to leave the paper clips on to store them because they'll just and then just put them. There's our. There's our journal page and just put them over the page like that. So I thought they'd be quite nice. So as always guys, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the little bell which will notify you when I upload any new video. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.